Today is January 25th, 2014. This goes to all Kentucky congressmen and senators of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and this nation. What has happened to you? Have you sold your souls? Have you been castrated of your manhood? You have turned your hearts against the very land that prospered you. You no longer represent the good of this great and beautiful nation. You have usurped the Constitution. You've committed treason. You've committed tyranny. You've undermined our traditions. You've disrespected our veterans. You've forgotten our veterans. You have forgotten the people. You war for profit to your own greed. You were sent to Washington and elected into the position by we the people. You have forgotten your honor. You have forgotten you work for us. You have attempted to shred our Constitution. Possibly not all of you have become crooks of the American people. And I don't aim to offend those that possibly haven't. As for the others, if the shoe fits, wear it. You have your own agendas for your own prosperity. But let me clue you in. We are a nation of givers, a loving people, and we've given and given and given. We are the sleeping giant. We the people have awakened. We the people are watching each and every one of you. We the people sleep no more. We the people are tired of your robbing us, spraying us, lying to us, poisoning us, with the weather modification and also through GMOs and fluoride, tainted vaccines in our children to set them up for disease later in life and or die of some illness prior to even growing up. So you can make more greedy money for your poisonous pharmaceuticals. You perpetrate your false flag one after another your actions and all the shootings to attempt taking our right to bear arms. Get this also, Mr. President. It is not going to happen. You are not our dictator. Nor will there ever be a king over America except the one which this nation was founded on. We the people will not allow it. You all can write thousands of your laws, executive orders, but we will not obey because they are null and void as they usurp our Constitution. You are dishonorable. We the people will rise up. We the people are fed up. We the people demand your resignations because we the people will hold you accountable for your actions. We know how you vote. We know what you've done to our beloved country. The law calls for you to be hung. Instead, we ask you to step down to vacate your office. A citizen's arrest upon you all will likely ensue if you don't in due time. You gravely mistaken that we the people will not revolt in due time. You are in fact pushing for that. Remember, there are 314 million people in this nation. And how many are there of you? I am a broken down, totally disabled, injured worker and a senior citizen, grandmother and great-grandmother. But by the will of Father in Heaven, I will fight for God and country, even if it means with a rake or a broom handle as I'm sure the rest of my brothers and sisters and we the people will stand up to do.